Sup, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Mark Magsayo versus Julio Seha. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, yeah. To those who don't know, this fight is taking place this weekend, this Saturday on the 21st of August, August 21, 2021, over in Vegas in the undercard of Manny Pacquiao versus Jordanis Ugas over at the uh, T-Mobile uh, Arena in Vegas live on pay-per-view. So tune into pay-per-view if you want to see this fight between Magsayo and Seha. And uh, when it comes to, oh, before I get more you know, they're talking about who I think will win. To those who don't know who Mark Magsayo is, he is a 26-year-old fighter from the Philippines, my home country. 22-0, 15 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. He's coming for a win against Pablo Cruz. TKO win in the fourth round. And uh, before that, he uh, got a split decision win against Rigoberto Hermosillo in a uh, competitive fight. Um... Yeah, he didn't look so great in that one, I'm going to be honest. But here he is, fighting in the undercard of a big fight, uh, a big event under you know the legendary Manny Pacquiao against Julio Ceja, a fighter from Mexico with a record of 32 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw, 28 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikeo, who's coming off a draw against Brandon Figueroa. Surprisingly. But then again, he failed to make weight in that fight. And now here he is fighting... At 126 pounds officially not missing weight well hopefully he does not miss weight I mean the weigh-in has not taken place yet but you know he's uh, fighting at 126 now and uh, can he beat Mark Magsayo who used to be number two I believe in the rankings for the WBO if I remember correctly now he's not uh, too high on the rankings anymore uh, partly due to inactivity and the uh, level of opposition he's been fighting. But anyway, here he is fighting Mags, uh, Julio Seja, and I'm going to be completely honest, man. I'm going to be honest. If Mag Seja loses his fight, he should just retire. It's a fight that he should win if he wants to move on to bigger and better things. It's a fight he should win at least at this point in his career as well. Mag Seja, um I think he's definitely better compared to two fights ago. I think after every fight, he gets better and better. And uh, him versus Seha is uh, a perfect fight for him. Seha will be right in front of him to hit. Seha will come forward. He will try to rough you up. He will fight you in the inside. He is your typical Mexican fighting uh, Mexican fighter who comes forward, likes to let his hands go, showing a lot of heart and determination. And he will show that in this fight. Don't get me wrong. I think Seha will definitely show a lot of heart and determination and toughness and speed. Um, but in the end, I think... Magsayo is a better boxer, smarter, and under you know Freddie Roach and everybody at the Wild Card Gym, I think he will continue to improve as a fighter, and he should be able to go out there and and you know he'll he will struggle a little bit. I could definitely see him struggling in the early rounds a little bit, but in the end, I think Magsayo should be able to win this fight, TKO knockout in the middle rounds, five six. I would say I think it's scheduled for ten rounds. So I think in uh, round number five, six, TKO win for Magsayo. Maybe I'm a little biased because obviously I'm Filipino. Magsayo is Filipino. Plus, he also uh, took his time to make me a little intro uh, back when I had my Boxing Sphere channel. If you guys remember that from back in the day. So I'm a little biased, but um, but I do try to keep it real. And uh, trying to keep it real, I think Magsayo should be able to go out there and entertain and give us a W and uh, move on to bigger and better things and plus he needs to win this fight he's fighting in the undercard of Manny Pacquiao's event a lot of Filipino fight fans in the Philippines and here and around the world will be watching this event live they, didn't, they don't really pay attention to the undercard but if they are they'll be seeing a Filipino go up in that ring and represent the Philippines and if he looks good it will elevate his fan base and more people will start paying attention and taking Magsayo more seriously. But there already are. I mean, a lot of Filipino fight fans in the Philippines already are following him. But, um, you know, for the most part, the casual fans are not there yet. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Again, Magsayo TKO. I could be wrong. And I'm hoping I'm not wrong. Anything's possible in the sport of boxing. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.